Hello, Alessandro. Hello, Abe. How are you? Good. And you? I'm we, fine. We had something to finish from last uh, last time episode. Yeah, last time we recorded five videos yes. about with a pen plotter. Yes. Generating and shapes. And you were mentioning that you wrote some custom code, custom interface to interact with the MIDI device. Uh, MIDI and also with the plotter. With the plotter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we'll go a bit through that. Yeah. Just we're to see how you know you made it. Yeah. yeah. We're we're not gonna write this from scratch, but no. but it's just to take a look shortly at the at this program. I wrote it because I was going to an art market in Ljubljana. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it in the train. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I brought was the Axitro class. Mm -hmm. uh, it was good. There was in internet even. Oh, yeah, I downloaded on the in on the train with the internet I with the Wi-Fi. I downloaded the specs of the Axicli, mm -hmm. uh, which is this command line tool that is provided mm -hmm. by the same people, mm -hmm. and it takes basically an SVG and sends it to the plotter. Mm -hmm. but so this class, essentially now, this class Axi draw is a sort of a wrapper. Yeah. It's an automator of this. Mm -hmm, That's exactly. Okay, good. And you have there everything you could do mm -hmm. and even more things. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing now, when I plot, I can see a progress bar of time mm -hmm. and how many minutes are left. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, That's okay. useful. Okay. This you don't get in, I in, think, in Inkscape. Inkscape. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, All right, so now I can see a class with a lot of parameters, yeah. which I think is uh, plotter parameters. That's yeah. what they look like. Yeah. Okay. This is the typical, well, this is how we write annotations for the GUIs yeah. in mm -hmm. OpenR and DR. Mm -hmm. I can just run it for a second. A, a sort of a decorator for uh, yeah, annotation yeah. decorator. Yeah. And you can see them all here. Mm -hmm. So basically, I this is another thing I like, which in in the GUI in Inkscape, you have many tabs, and every tab has a bunch of parameters, mm -hmm. and and I always get lost. I'm looking where did I set the speed? Like mm -hmm. uh, here's like a flat list. Mm -hmm. So of I all the possible th yeah. the things that one would want to use. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I can change here. You see the, sp the speed when mm -hmm. the pen is down, when the pen is up. So up. what is a random start? Just to uh, run. Where is that? Yeah. Uh, random start. This is when closed lines. Ah. Uh, you start randomly somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason is if you always start on the same place, mm -hmm. you may be leaving a tiny drop of ink. Okay. And yeah. I imagine see. you draw like a hundred circles. Yes, 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 yes. yes so this I way see. you hide this. You have more of a homogeneous rendering yeah. of the drawing of the circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. And well, we played with occlusion. Mm -hmm. we, we played last time with yeah. occlusion, no? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Um and what else was here? Well, I, I added something special, this, this web hook. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. It that's tells you when it finishes yeah. or something yeah. like this? Yeah. That's right. actually part of uh, the same interface, but I what I did was to create, I don't know where I have that, I think it's in another file, uh, when I used it to send me a telegram message when it's done plotting. Okay, yeah. Because to not get distracted, I put the plotter in another room mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and I don't hear it. So mm -hmm. then when it's done, it, I receive a message on the phone. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, so now uh, there are these uh, s standard, you know, integer or double parameter, whatever. Mm -hmm. But n uh, And if you go down, I can see this uh, command is essentially the, the, the options that you want to pass to the CLI, I guess. Exactly. What I mm -hmm. do is build a long yeah. uh, command line message. Yeah. So you can see I'm using xterm, which is a mm -hmm. command. Mm -hmm. I have a hold. And so then you will have a run this string, yeah. and this is passed to the operating system, yeah. and it runs it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are these action parameters below uh, the decorator where for where action? Uh, yeah. Here. I think this is so the first time that I see that. Action are used to create these buttons. So when you ah. click a button, you execute a function. So this is still... Uh, ah, okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. okay. That's part of the GUI. So okay, 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 for okay. example, I have oh, this nice. very useful toggle up-down. So okay. I just click this button and the pen moves up and down. So one in general could use this, for instance, if you want to restart the simulation of yeah. the system or things yeah. like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, very or useful. you can use it to load images, yeah. save images. And okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, well, it's <laughs> this is a bit of off topic, but mm -hmm. um, you can also use drag and drop. So 
in OpenR and you can detect when you drop images or video files or any file on, the on top of the image. Ah, on top of the image. Okay. So, so you have an event that yeah. react to that and yeah. say, okay, now yeah. that's what you do. Okay. That's convenient. Okay. If, if you're making a design that is based on an image, then yeah. you can just be dragging different images on top of your program okay. and see what happens. And do you know if that 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 uh, blocks the event loop or not? Like I, mm. I put, you know, imagine the situation. I mm. put an image yeah. and I download load it on mm -hmm. a buffer. Yeah. Does it uh, is a blocking action like that? I it waits until you finish to download to load and then. I'm not sure. I think okay. I think you may if you're animating something smoothly then prob and you load an image it probably you see a hiccup there or something yeah exactly that's yeah. what i'm saying it probably so it's but i'm not sure okay uh, good yeah. okay good i've learned something new action parameter <laughs> no because sometimes yeah. i want to do like reset type of action and for now i use the keyboard yeah, yeah. Like, you know plus space yeah. bar things uh, like this but yeah. uh, I recommend using the GUI, I mean, maybe yeah. <laughs> in general to whoever is listening, mm -hmm. because I also do keys. Mm -hmm. The problem is, it's hard to maybe have a standard for your keys. Yes. You have hundreds of programs with different keys. And then you forget who, who does do what. Yeah. yeah okay. And then what you can do is maybe when you start the program, you print LN, mm -hmm. what are all your keys, mm -hmm. so you remember. But if you have it in here in the GUI, human form in a certain <laughs> sense is better. Yeah, yeah, and also this thing of loading images, this I will try because that's yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this this is the part essentially of the setting up the parameter for axi draw. Yeah, and um, yeah, and then, oh, and where is where where do you, ah run command right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and mm -hmm. and so I I created this function. I don't know. Let me see where is mm -hmm. that right here. Mm -hmm. Basically, just takes the joins the string yeah and its process builder is um this is Kotlin a yeah uh, or, or java java okay this is a way to execute programs on the command okay. line okay yeah. um okay. so yeah and then basically in i'm calling this ring run command sometimes i mm -hmm. send very few parameters for example mm -hmm. If you want to know the version of the plotter, mm -hmm. then you just pass these two arguments mm -hmm. and then it prints and that. Okay, so question, uh, I'll say uh, multi-platform question. Is uh -huh. the CLI the same across platform? I hope it's a Python program. Okay, so probably it has the same yeah. commands, the same behavior. Okay, yeah, sure. good. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. because we are on Linux yeah. here, so yeah. just, okay. Yeah. Um, I have this function, I guess it's the core thing, mm -hmm. plot, if mm -hmm. you want to plot the image and you just pass the the file, path. the path to the SVG file. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it has a lot of arguments. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, so this, is, this is essentially a string building part. Yeah. It looks like at the end of the day, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. creating a long string from, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, this I found interesting, the thing that tells you, shows you the yeah. progress of the plotting and the report time also mm -hmm. um yeah then all the others or most of the others are built depending on what you have set here on the gui mm -hmm. like do you want occlusion then it will add hiding otherwise nothing mm -hmm. if you want preview then like etc mm -hmm. this is not fully finished because i didn't do that you can res resume mm -hmm. so if you pause ah, the okay. plotting yeah you have to start from then the beginning. because for that the way it would work there's an option in this command line application uh, where it saves a new SVG file, mm -hmm. the one you're plotting, and there loads from there and loads from the. It last actually part leaves a marker okay. to to say yeah. where were you. Yeah, yeah. And then okay. it, then you can resume. I didn't do that because I yeah for this uh, exhibition mm -hmm. there was I don't need no didn't need. need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's and all. so essentially this is just the Axidro class is a visual representation of the uh, yeah. CLI, mm -hmm. the, the command line interface. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, then what else do we have here? Well, this is the main. Mm -hmm. the you main have the MIDI device. I program. Think. Yeah. We never talked about MIDI device. Yeah. Oh, really? That's I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we. Maybe we should so. go a b in another episode about in another, that. Another episode yeah. will do just uh, yeah. external things like camera, yeah. device. Because yeah. I, I don't even think if camera we talked about, but in general, you know. Yeah. Can yeah. one connect to a sound card? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. this type of. Uh, yeah. But these are more. Uh, for instance, th these are more Kotlin related. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, things right. Well, the MIDI device is actually from OpenRNDI. Ah, from OpenRNDI. Ah, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 
since I think we've been talking for a while, so maybe what if we stop here and then we make a second part and we yes. talk about this file? Yes, totally. <laughs> See you in the next episode. See you.